Let's look at gamma. We discussed previously that delta is the change in the options price or premium due to the change in the underlying futures price. We will now discuss how delta itself changes with a change in the underlying futures price. This is known as gamma. Think of gamma as the delta of the delta. Let's look at it a different way. If you're driving a car at 30 miles per hour, if you increase your speed to 40 miles per hour, you have accelerated by 10 miles per hour. If you think of speed as your delta, then the change in your speed is your gamma. In other words, gamma is your acceleration. Gamma is usually expressed as a change in the delta per one point change in the price of the underlying. For example, let's assume a futures contract is priced at 200 and a 220 call option on that future has a delta of 30 and a gamma of 2. If the futures price increases to 201, the delta is now 32. Conversely, if the futures price decreases to 199, the delta is 28. Just like delta, gamma is dynamic. Gamma is the highest when the underlying price is near the option's strike price. As the underlying moves away from the strike price, the gamma decreases. As the underlying moves towards the strike price, the gamma increases. At the money options have the highest gamma because their deltas are the most sensitive to underlying price changes. Now let's look at how gamma is calculated. Gamma is the difference in delta divided by the change in the underlying price. Let's look at another example. The future is at 200. A 200 call option has a 50 delta. The option's gamma is 3. If the future's price moves to 201, the option's delta is now 53. If the future's price moves down to 199, the option's delta is 47. Across the two-point underlying future move, the delta changed by 6. Remember, delta measures the speed, or rate of change, of the option premium. Gamma measures the acceleration, or rate of change, in the delta. If you're going to trade options, gamma is a measurement you will want to study.